Hey everyone, this is Gleb Vakhmutov and I want to continue talking about visual retroability and canvas image diffing. So we have a problem. How do you know when the canvas stopped animation? Well, we could use the visual retroability and compare it to the saved image. But what even about saving the baseline image? In this video, I will show how to confirm that the image is the same as the image before. So then you can do visual testing. For this, I will use pixel match. The pixel match and PM module is interesting because it works both in Node and in the browser. It just goes through the array, comparing pixel row by row, column by column. Which means that in my Cypress cells, I can, for example, load the page that animates the canvas, wait, then take the canvas, grab its image data, which returns an array, wait some more, grab the canvas again, and then use the pixel match right here to compare the first image with the second and write the output into the image and into the canvas so I can show the different pixels. I also get the number of pixels that are different and I will use scilog to show them in a command log. So in this case, I'm waiting four seconds to take the first image, which means the animation is over when I take the very first image. Then I wait three more seconds and I take the second image. Notice that right here, the pixel match returns zero pixels different because the animation has finished and the image right here and right there are the same. Now imagine we change those weights. Let's say we don't wait and we maybe wait three seconds. So we take the first image immediately, then, right? Notice the pixel match shows that pretty much everything inside the smile face is different, has changed. We can play with the timeouts, let's say 100. It should show just the smile being different, huh? Maybe not uh, 100, 400. Yeah, notice that only the smile is different because the image rendered after 400 milliseconds, and then it's very different in a smile region after three more seconds. So this gives me an idea. We can compare the canvas to itself after a small timeout to figure out when the canvas stopped animation. So this is what I will do right here in this step. And I refactored that weight into this function, ensure canvas is static, for a path selector. So all we have to do first, get this canvas. All right, so we get the first canvas in the first image. Then we're gonna wait for some duration. I use 300 milliseconds, that seems like a good number. And then we use the recurse function from Cypress Recurse, and I have a bunch of videos showing how to use it in action. So right there, we take the second image, all right? We compute the number of pixels that are different using pixel match and we return it. And Cypress recurs takes the second argument, which is the predicate. In this case, if there are less than 10 pixels that are different, we should stop because we know the canvas images are the same. Okay, so the animation has finished. And if not, notice what we do. We take the image that we just took and we assign it back to image one. So when we go back into the recurs, and run the canvas selection again, we comparing this image to the image that we just saved. So we always compare the image to the latest image before. And this is how we update the image. And when animation is over, then the two images will be the same because it will be the last one image and then the image after that. So here's how it works in action. At each step, I'm logging the number of different pixels as computed by pixel match. And notice that at first all pixels are different and then fewer and fewer and fewer until very few pixels and the zero different pixels are shown. In that case, we know the canvas has not changed in the last 300 milliseconds. And then we can compare it to the baseline image or save it as a new baseline image. Again, notice as the smile approaches the end result for zero different pixels. And that's where we can compare it to the saved baseline image. So this is how you implement in the browser image comparison using pixel match 
so that you know when you can safely save the baseline image or compare it to the image on disk.